Hello all, welcome back to our channel. So students in this video from unit number 1 regression for short marks, 4 marks there will be a method. So in this video I will discuss that method. Compulsory we can expect that 4 marks question in part A. If you watch this video fully means you can easily attempt that question. Okay. So don't skip the video and watch till the end. So without getting late let's get into the video students. So students from regression, uh, this is the 4 marks important question, this type of methods, we can expect one 4 marks question pakka in part A. If R is equal to 0 0.8, standard deviation of X is equal to 2.5 and standard deviation of Y is equal to 3.5, they are asking us to find out BXY and BYX, got it? So while writing the answer, how you need to write it, given that, okay, what they have given? R is equal to 0 0.8 standard deviation of X is equal to 2.5 standard deviation of Y is equal to 3.5 here what we are what we are calculating BXY first so BXY is equal to R into okay R into standard deviation XY standard deviation of Y R how much they have given 0 0.8 into Standard deviation of x is 2.5 divided by standard deviation of y 3.5. So how you will substitute it? 0 0.8 into 2.5 divided by 3.5 you need to do it. Okay. So 2.5 divided by 3.5. If you will do means 0 0.714. Okay. 0 0.71 we are taking point after two, di two digits is enough mark okay so 0 0.8 into 0 0.71 0 0.8 into 0 0.71 if you do means 0 0.568 will be the answer so bxy is equal to 0 0.56 okay so bxy we have calculated now we need to calculate byx what is the formula of BYX? R into standard deviation of Y divided by standard deviation of X. R value is 0 0.8 ma. Standard deviation of Y is 3.5. Standard deviation of X is 2.5. Okay. So what we need to do 0 0.8 into 3.5 divided by 2.5. You will get 1.4. Okay, so 0 0.8 into 1.4, 1.12. So BYX is equal to 1.12. Got it? So this is the Pakka 4 marks question. Uh, so just practice it. I will give some homework problems now. Okay, students. So here you see, here they have given coefficient of correlation. 0 0.60 means r is equal to 0 0.60 standard deviation of x is equal to 1.5 standard deviation of y is equal to 2.0 so x value 10 y value 20 also they have given means after finding by bybx we need to calculate x on y okay so x on y how we will calculate bybx we have got 0 0.8 Okay, so x bar is equal to 10, y bar is equal to 20. Just you need to substitute it, okay. You have already, if you have already watched 12 marks regression problem means you can do this problem. And uh, here you see my 7th question. If x is equal to 0 0.85, y is equal to 0 0.89x, find the coefficient of correlation. Means b by x is they have given, b by x, b x y also they have given. So x means b x y. 0 0.85 b y x 0 0.89 coefficient of correlation formula under root b x y into b y x b x y is 0 0.5 b y is 0 0.9 0 0.85 into 0 0.89 if you do means you will get 0 0.7565 0 0.7565 if you will do root means in calculator where it will be the root here it is the root okay for example 0. 7565 we have got no so for this you need to calculate root just press on root 0 0.869 so 0 0.869 you have got it got it so here this is also you practice it ma compulsory we can expect this type of questions so sixth question as well as the ninth question also you see these two questions also is homework 
and this is a compulsory problematic question in short from unit number one okay so compulsory 99.9 percent .9 we can expect it if they are asking problematic for four marks from unit number one means this is the methods okay so all the very best ma i hope you have got clarity about this uh, problematic method if you are having any doubts you can comment down in the comment section see you all in the next video bye bye students